Greetings, hello, how you doing? My name is Joe Warlock, welcome back to the Zavi channel. Today, Zavi have been very brave and they've actually given me a mystery box to unbox, which makes me very excited because mystery boxes are my thing. This hefty beast is the mystery box we shall be unboxing. It is the Zavi special edition anniversary box because it is their anniversary. 10 items, 29.99, link in the description. Why are you there? Like and comment and let me know your thoughts. That's all you need to know. I'm just very excited. Let's cut it open. Dispensing with the bubble wrap. Aha! Right. Fallout felt pennant. Fallout currently, uh, Fallout 76 would be the one, the massive multi online playing game of building destruction in a post apocalyptic world. That's what it is, Bethesda's game. But there you go. It says, it says something. Oh, I can't even hold on. It says wave hello to Bottle and Cappy. So wave hello. Do it. But yes, there is Bottle and Cappy from Fallout. The caps in Fallout are like the monetary value. It's what they use to pay for items. I can actually put that somewhere now because I have places to put things finally. There'll be no hanging around in this video. And we're on to the next item, which is, I think, ah, oh, Megatron. Can I, I can't even, oh, it might not be Megatron. It just says super deformed figure. If it is Megatron, I'm happy. It's Megatron, get in. Megatron, the leader of the Decepticons. Sometimes misunderstood, sometimes an absolute Maniacal megalomaniac. It's a lot of words and a lot of alliteration. But there is Megatron. Yes, he fought his way out of the pits on Cybertron to become the leader of the Decepticons, and he hates the Orbots and Optimus Prime. Although at times they have worked together, it's all very confusing. But he's a great character. So there he is in miniature form. I can put that behind me. That's a nice little thing, actually. I like that. Two items down. Another one. <laughs> oh why? Okay, we've got a lovely porcelain Marvel mug. I actually do need a mug, which terrifies me in equal measures. Oh no, it's actually really nice. I feel like I've just betrayed myself. I, I don't like mugs. I have a million mugs. I don't like mugs. But here is a mug, which will be very useful to some people. This likes to be really good for people in my house because they keep using my glasses and it's very annoying. So now they can have a mug. We've got ourselves a Geekies. Now, I really like Geekies because they might be plastic, but they look like they're wood. They're really cool. And this one is a SpongeBob SquarePants style one. It is. Squidward. I can't do Squidward's voice, but just imagine that was Squidward. He works in the Krusty Krab, he operates the little till, he yells at Spongebob, he's awesome. He plays the clarinet, probably. Do you know Spongebob is over 20 years old? That's insane. There is Squidward, and I love the detailing on this. Like, it does have that wooden texture, and that's fantastic. Squidward Tentacles is an absolutely brilliant character. Ooh, we've got ourselves a graphic novel. That's a big graphic novel. Look at that. <gasps> that's a hefty beast. Blimey. Ooh. $34.99, wow. Okay, the Avengers. Mightiest Heroes Ultimate Collection. Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, and all your favorites like Ant-Man and Vision and all of them. But it is a graphic novel, obviously, so there's pictures and some words featuring Earth's Mightiest Heroes. That is quality. Looking forward to where the MCU goes with the next lot of Avengers. That's, that's brilliant, that's absolutely awesome. I need some new graphic novels to read. Perfect. We've got ourselves a Call of Duty Black Ops keyrings. Limited edition keychains. Oh, oh, they're fancy. I actually don't have any keychains right now. Oh, that's a lovely. <laughs> I'll show you these because I'm just staring at them and going, ooh, that's a lovely design. So you're gonna have to excuse me because I don't really know that much about Call of Duty Black Ops. But for these, we do have the keychain of a smiley face. One of a goat's head, one of possibly a wolf, lion, tiger, stroke, cat thing. <laughs> We've got a skeleton soldier with a bomb saying love, which looks absolutely fantastic. And then a three-eyed demon devil kind of thing. They're really good quality and really nicely made. I like these. We've got, uh, I'm sorry, what? Star Trek graphic novel collection. I've got a lot of Star Trek graphic novels from Z-Boxes in the past. I've never heard of or seen one with the Green Lantern. When did these two clash? Two iconic franchises meet for the first time, the Federation fighting alongside the Green Lantern Corps. That actually sounds amazing. It's like the modern day Star Trek with uh, that fella who plays him and the other one who plays him. I don't know. And Green Lantern. That's kind of cool. I always loved Green Lantern as a kid. Booster Gold, Blue Beetle and Green Lantern. And half of you are going, who are they? Don't worry, they'll appear in the DCU at some point, possibly. Okay, this is amazing. I'm just saying it now, this is amazing. It's from The Mandalorian and The Mandalorian it's one of the best shows I've seen in a long time. Right, oh, is this, it is, it's an, oh, how on earth do I say this word? Ooh, oh, there you go, look at that. It's an, it's an ignit, an ignot, an ignit. I don't know how you say the word, ignit. We'll say it's an ignit. Limited to 3,000 worldwide, individually numbered, embossed metal, display tan included, and officially licensed. Oh, that's hefty. Oh, oh that's really hefty. There's a bit of weight to that. This is number 408 of 3,000. Oh, that is lovely. Star Wars The Mandalorian. Hang on, this might get a little bumpy. 
the legend continues because everybody loved the Mandalorian. Everybody loved Gorgu. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. <gasps> Ooh, I really like that. I love coins. I know I can't say the word coins, but I do love them. This, this is stunning. That is going on display. We've got, what in the world is this? A X-Files bag of some sort? Oh, I literally thought this was a paper bag. It's not, it's actually a, it's a proper like padded bag. What would you use that for? What is it? Evidence bag lunch tote. Oh, that's, <laughs> sorry, I just had to laugh because this is going to be useful because I need something to take my lunch in when I travel up to work. That's all right. Where's, how does it, does it? Maybe. Oh, and that folds over and sticks to that. <laughs> that's going to look a bit weird when you walk in the office. X-Files, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Chain of Custody, Mulder. Ooh, okay. I've got a few things like this that I want to put on display on one side of these walls. It is Bat Wall. Bat Wall? It's not Bat Wall. It is Bat One. Gotham City. I love these. The sort of placards that you see. Sometimes you get like license plates. I've got loads of those from Back to the Future and things like that. And you also get these ones, which look like they've been taken off the wall in a city centre. That is lovely. That's cool. It looks sort of embossed. Is it embossed when it's raised? I don't know the terms. It is nice, Gotham City. Maybe I'll just stick it outside my house and confuse people as to where they are. As always, link description, check it out, subscribe, like, do all that, check out our other videos. I've been Joe Warlock, this has been Zavi. Until next time, keep it awesome, and I'll catch you then. Bye-bye.